what motivates you to be active? All right. uh, I am a very active person, and what motivates me to, to stay active is that activity keeps my mind clear. Um, and how do you stay active? Uh, right now, yeah. uh, I, I walk to and from work every day, which is uh, about an hour and a half. Awesome. Uh, so. Thank you. My name is Kane. And my name is Andrew. This is our group project. Our group project is about the hip surgery, especially for the old people, how to make them active again. This is the name of our project, hip. The H means the hard form. The I means the interactive. And P means the program. Our program is three months long. It's full of lots of active exercises and stretches to help you uh, get back off the couch and onto the dance floor. And we have classes of no more than 10 people, so you get to know everyone in your class and become friends with them because you're in the same situation as them, so you can use them to help overcome your struggles and just talk to them if you need to. Uh, it's both social and physical, which is a good combination. So it's not, you're not just doing work, you're talking to people, having a good time. So it's a lot of fun. And we use a system of goals and rewards. So at the beginning of each week, uh, every uh, participant in the uh, group uh, sets a couple goals for themselves. And if they achieve those goals, they get some sort of reward, like maybe they get to go shopping, or they buy their favorite movie. Okay. If someone of your friends or relatives uh, has, a, has had a hip surgery, and you know that they need to stay active, how do you support them? Um, I probably uh, just keep in touch. You know, Make sure they uh, keep them moving, maybe going to walk. I don't know. Uh, hip surgery is a long process, so you, you're going to need a bunch of support groups to help you get through it. So the most important one is probably your family. They are always there to talk with you if you need to. Uh, they can go on walks with you. And they're just going to be there every step of the way with you to make sure you're doing well, staying active, and getting through. Uh, the uh, you also have your friends who uh, could help you achieve a lot of improvements by talking with them or going on a walk with them. Uh, you also have your peers in the HIV, um, so they're going to be there every step of the way as well. They're in the same uh, program, they're in the same situation as you, so they know what it's like and they're going to be there to help you all the time. As you can see, this is our weekly schedule, uh, so on Monday, Wednesday and Friday we're going to do exercises uh, that we will show in a second and stretching. And on Tuesday and Thursday we do walking. So the first week we walk for five minutes and with each following week you add five more minutes on to your time. So week two you would walk for ten minutes, week three fifteen minutes and so on. And Saturday and Sunday are rest days so you can fully recover and be ready for Monday. Okay, so Ken here is doing the hip extension exercise. It stretches out your glutes. You just lie down, squeeze your back muscles uh, 5 to 10 seconds, and repeat 10 to 15 times. So this is the knee and hip flexion exercise. So Kane is lying down, and one at a time he's going to bring his heel back towards his body to a bent knee position. And he's going to hold this for 10 to 15 seconds and repeat uh, about 10 to 20 times. So this is our last exercise. It's another hip extension exercise. It's called bridging. So Kane is lying down with his feet flat on the ground and his knees are bent. And he's going to lift his buttocks in the air and hold them there for five seconds. And he's going to put them back down on the ground and repeat this 10 to 15 times. So this is a list of do's and don'ts to do after a hip surgery. Uh, first, use a high-rise toilet to avoid bending over. Second, sleep with a pillow between your legs uh, so you didn't overcross the midline. Uh, you don't want to bend more than uh, your hip more than a 90 degree angle because this will cause significant stress on your hip. And you also don't want to bend over to put on shoes and socks because that will also uh, put stress on your hips. For the last part of our project, why is the HIV so important for the elder people? I think the first part is it helps improve the elderly people's living quality through the physical and social means. For example, 
the HIV can help the old people overcome the overweight problems. Uh, we were also given five stars by Health Magazine, and we were ranked number one uh, hip surgery physical therapy uh, in the country. And you know, we focus on the social aspect of exercising, whereas other companies may just focus on the other, just the exercising without having fun. You know, we like to have fun here. Uh, you get to make friends and have a nice uh, support group behind you when you need it. And we've been proven tested to get you back on the dance floor in 12 weeks or less, or your money back. So my name's Andrew. I'm Ajit. I'm Kang. And we need to get back to dancing. So yeah. thanks for watching our video. Yeah, thank you. Thank <laughs> you.